All right, y'all, so we're back with another YouTube video. And this one, I know y'all saw the thumbnail. So pretty much, I was on Twitter, and I saw a tweet that said, if Jalen Green was on a good team, he would only play like 15 minutes average, like five points, right? The person didn't understand why Jalen Green's getting a lot of hype. And I've seen that recently, seen some tweets about people thinking that Jalen Green isn't that good. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that to the test. On this wheel, I have 10 teams. Five teams in the East, five in the West. We're going to see which team he gets. These are, to me, the 10 best teams. Well, you could argue. You know, obviously not this season. This is just based off whatever. Because people could be like, the Warriors and Lakers suck. I know, but this is based off of, in general, you know, if everyone was healthy and expectations... If Jalen Green was on one of these teams, how would he do? That's pretty much the synopsis for this video. We'll see with Jalen Green. We're going to simulate like three seasons. The Phoenix Suns. Well, he's definitely coming off the bench because uh, they already got a PG in the shooting guard. Unless I put him in my small four. I'm going to put him... I'm going to leave him at whatever position he's at. I'm not going to do nothing. If Jalen Green was on the Phoenix Suns. 15 minutes a game, 4 points. Well, you know, 15 to 10 minutes a game, 4 points. Let's put it to the test. I'll see you on 2K. Here we go. Y'all comment down below how you feel about Jalen Green. Do you agree with the tweet? Do you disagree? Let's go. Alright, y'all. We're on 2K. Now, he, I put him on the Suns like we did with the wheel. Now, the tweet said 15 minutes a game. Now, here's the thing. He's getting 28. Now, I could give him 15, but realistically, if Jalen Green was on this Suns team, he would be getting 28 minutes, like 25, 28, close to 30 minutes a game. Like, he would, he would be the sixth man. Like, there's not much I can do. I guess the guy... I think that tweet was exaggeration because... A good team, and he gets 15 minutes. What team in NBA where Jalen Green would get 15 minutes? What team is there in the NBA where Jalen Green would get 15 minutes? There, there isn't. The Lake that not he would get playing time on the Lakers, the Warriors. Like he would get playing time on any team. Like the only way he gets 15 minutes is, is if like these teams add a bunch of other people. But so yeah, the tweet was exaggeration. Whatever. But. Pretty much, we're just going to see if he didn't have a bigger role. So, really, the gist of this video is to see if his role was dumbed down. Like, instead of a starter, what if he was a six-man or a role player or, you know, far down in the bench. But, yeah, he's getting 28 minutes, 84 overall. I mean, he's used to getting 31. So, 31, 32, 33. He's getting less than 30. Let's see what happens with Jalen Green. We're going to simulate, mm, like, two to three seasons. We'll go until I feel like, you know, we have to. But what do y'all think about that? If Jalen Green was on a good team, he would be less productive. We'll say that instead. I don't know. He's on a good team. We'll see what happens. Luka MVP, Paolo Rookie of the Year, Simmons Six Man, AD Depoy, Cade Most Improved. I don't, I mean, to Jalen Green, I don't think he would make a team yet. Yeah, no. The Suns are the, what is that, fifth seed? Yeah, the Suns are the fifth seed. Jalen Green averaged 17 points, three rebounds, three assists, a steal. 45, 39, 82. He definitely was more efficient. Um, His per 36 would be crazy. 22 and 4. His true shooting is a 60. 55 to a 60. So, he was way more efficient. So, so far the tweet is looking wrong. Pretty much this video is to try to see if the tree... The, the tree. The tweet is false or true. So far it's looking false. Because he's doing better. He averaged more. He averaged more points. He averaged 
a little bit less points, a little bit, but pretty much the same amount of points. But he was way more efficient, played less minutes, more assists, a little less rebounds, less turnovers, a better, he had a plus, plus 3.1, like, he, he did better. So, so far the tweet is looking wrong. The tweet was saying, if he was a bench player, he wouldn't be as effective. And, I don't know, he's definitely more more efficient, more effective. Do the Suns do anything, though? Yes, they're in the finals. Devin Booker versus James Harden. Alright. Mm, but they do lose in six. Harden's in finals MVP. We could see what Jalen Green did in the playoffs overall he averaged 17 2 and 3 I mean 51 45 82 that's pretty good that's pretty good the first round with 18 the second round 17 the third round 21 in the finals he averaged 14 he did flop a little bit in the finals but besides that I don't he did pretty good so I don't know. If you put him on a good team, he's, he's doing good. He's doing good. Again, we're just trying to see if the tweet is true or false. That's honestly what we're doing. All right. 30 minutes. Now he has even more minutes. He's at 89 overall. They are playing a 10-man. That's what they were playing in the beginning. So I'm going to leave it at a 10-man. 30 minutes. They made it to the finals with Jalen Green, so I don't know. As far as the Rockets, the Rockets, they do better or worse. I wish I could see the season before in terms of their, oh yeah, I can. All right, the Rockets did do better. They did do better. So maybe there's another argument to say, like, hey, if they don't have Jalen Green, they'll do better. There's a lot of things we could argue in this video. Again, if you're a fan of Jalen Green or if you're a fan of the Rockets, you could comment down below how you feel about that tweet, etc. But season two, here we go. We're going to do three seasons or until they win a championship. So let's keep it going. All right, Tatum MVP, Vic Rookie of the Year. Jalen Green, six man of the year. Let's look at this. Jalen Green, six man of the year. The tweet said if he was on a good team, he wouldn't even get really any playing time. 15 minutes, four points. Here's my question. What team would Jalen Green be sent to where he's getting 15 minutes a game? He's going to play at least 20, 25 on every single team. Like, that's my, what team would he get sent to where he's playing less than 20 minutes. I mean, good or bad, like, what what teams he getting sent to? Where he's playing less than 20, even less than like 17. Like, what teams he getting sent to? Six man of the year, 20 points, three rebounds, four assists, a steal, 50, 86, 44. Looks pretty efficient to me. I don't know about I don't know about that tweet. I don't know about that tweet. I don't know about that tweet. I feel like whoever that is just doesn't like Jalen Green. I, I don't. He's the second best player on the team. He's a 90 overall, so now he's probably starting. Well, obviously not. Well, he can't start because they have Booker, and then he would start if I move him to a small forward. But I'm not altering his. I'm not altering his uh overall. I mean his position. So, and plus the tweet said if he pretty much if he wasn't a starter. So, we're going to keep him on the bench 31 minutes a game. They're the first seed. As far as his efficiency, he was more, he was more efficient this season. Look, he he's going up in his efficiency. He's going up his efficiency. A little bit more minutes, a better plus minus, like I don't understand what the tweet was trying to say. Because so far, he's he's doing what he got to do. 
So far, he's doing what he, he needs to do. A 69 true shooting, if you round it, I round everything up, a 69 true shooting percent. His, his true shooting's going up every season. His points is going up. Um, efficiency's going up. So he's, he's doing good to me. The Suns, I mean, they're not doing good as a team. But this isn't about the team. This is about Jalen Green. As far as the Rockets, I mean, we can see what they've been doing. Rockets, they were better than last season. They've been playing better. They have. So maybe you can make an argument Jalen Green makes them worse. It, I mean, that could be an argument. That could be something we could test out as well in a future vid. Does Jalen Green make them worse? Maybe that's what he meant to say is that Jalen Green makes the Rockets worse. He probably didn't mean Jalen Green himself is bad. He just meant on that team he's holding them back. What did he average in the playoffs? Let's see. In playoffs, he averaged overall 22 points. In the first round, 25 points. In the second round, 19. He did go down a little bit, but it's fine. Is there a way I could compare his playoff sets from last season? I don't think I can. Oh, well. All right. Uh, Zion versus Tatum. Celtics versus Pels. Celtics win in five. Tatum's your finals MVP. We're going to do one more season to see if he could go even higher. We'll do one more season, and then we'll call it we'll call it an end. So far, the tweet's getting proven wrong. Pretty much, if Jalen Green was a bench warmer or a role player, he wouldn't be as good. And so far, he's better, honestly. He's playing better than if he was a starter. So, I don't know. I don't know. 30 minutes a game. His efficiency has been going up. Plus minus has been going up. True shooting been going up. <sighs> Last season. Let's go. Alright. LaMelo MVP. That guy rookie of the year. Mark Hill six man. Vic Depoy. Uh, Kaysen got most improved. So, let's see. The Suns were the three seed. We see where the Rockets are at. The Rockets were the fifth seed. I mean... Granted, I mean, this is 2K. Like, they're going to be able to sign and trade for good players. In real life, how would they do without Jalen Green? That's really the thing. But anyways, Jalen Green, best player on the team now. 24 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, a steal, 53, 46, 86. Efficiency went up even more. True shooting is a 71. So, yeah, pretty much that tweet was absolutely false because the tweet said if Jalen Green was on a good team, this, the Phoenix Suns are one of the best teams in the NBA right now. They have been for, like, the last two, three, four seasons. If Jalen Green was on a good team, he's on a good team, he would be playing 15 minutes. He's playing 28 to 32 minutes a game. That's wrong. He would average four points. He's averaging at least 17 plus. Now 24. True shooting is going up. Efficiency is going up every single season. So overall, that tweet was false. Um, I think that guy just does not like Jalen Green. And he just wanted to put just any random tweet out there. Hey, the Suns are in the finals again. Chris Paul, Jason Tatum, they beat the Rockets at four. They swept them. Can the Suns end on a good note? Nope. Well, again, this video wasn't about the Suns as a team. It was about Jalen Green. He did what he had to do. He averaged 24 in the playoffs, shooting 48 from the three. Hey. That's the end of this video. Pretty quick video. I just wanted to see about this tweet. I saw it the other day, and I was like, interesting. It, it piqued my interest, because I feel like Jalen Green gets a lot of hate that he doesn't deserve. Like, Rockets fans, y'all can let me know how you feel about Jalen Green, but I feel like he gets a lot of hate. Um, a lot of people like to say that he's a ball hog and he's inefficient, this, this, and that. Hey, I mean, he's still young. Give him some time. Give him more time, and we'll see what happens. But debunking that tweet, that's pretty much 
what happened here. But yeah, that's it for now, y'all. Sound off in the comments. Bye, y'all.